You know, we have been holding people in power accountable about the lack of choices for people in Buffalo to get high speed internet. Now, that is changing. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Weeks after our reports on Spectrum's near monopoly in the city and the agreement that let that happen, we've got a company announcing that it's bringing a new service to Buffalo and they're crediting two on your side with helping to make this happen. So Greenlight saw press reports, they saw that Buffalo was looking for another company, so they called my office and said, look, we saw you in the news, uh, we think it's important that uh, there's a need out there in Buffalo, so can we talk? And then those conversations started. Is that because of us? Well, that's the news report that they saw. So who is this new company that's called Greenlight? Join your sides, Emily Lampa explains where it's from and how it will work here. It was an announcement welcomed by Buffalo City, health, business and education leaders this morning. Greenlight Networks out of Rochester publicly announcing Green, their intention to bring high speed internet service to, to the Buffalo Niagara region for a set price of $50 a month. Former Buffalo Sabres owner and Paychex founder Tom Golisano invested more than 100 million to kickstart this fiber optic network expansion. Mark Murphy, CEO of Greenlight Networks, says it's now up to residents and business owners anywhere in Western New York to say if they want this. They'll start construction in the areas of highest demand. And Murphy assured reporters today rich neighborhoods will not be given priority. What provisions do you have in place to prevent something like that from happening? Well, I think, again, we've tried to reach out to the developers for the in affordable housing and other places to really make sure we can be as accessible as possible and work with community organizations to try and get out as far in the community as we can. So uh, we'll continue to do that in Buffalo. We'll do that in all the markets that we serve. Murphy says at least a third of Greenlight's business so far is affordable multi-unit housing, large apartment complexes, as well as student and senior housing. Greenlight is collecting data via their website where interested residents and businesses input their address and contact information. No access to the website? You can call 716-919-4300. Murphy says if 10 to 15 percent of homes or businesses in an area express interest, that's enough to move on to licensing negotiations with local municipalities. Lovejoy District Councilman Richard Fantana tells Two on Your Side, no special rate will be negotiated for Greenlight. They will be subject to the same fees as any other internet service providers in the area. If we're too high, it could drive away competition. If we're too low, it could shortchange the taxpayers. So we have to find that sweet spot on where this works for the taxpayers and the build out. Once all the agreements are hammered out with local cities and towns, then Greenlight's design team will step in to design the network. Greenlight CEO tells me that the hope is, at least here in Buffalo, is to start construction this coming summer. We're told to expect an update on their progress in the next month or so. And coming up at 6, we'll talk to Two on Your Side's Nate Benson, whose reporting first drew attention to the lack of high-speed options here in Buffalo. He'll join us with some analysis on what we learned today. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.